And so, like, there was just, like, this community. It was a cul-de-sac. That, you know, it was it was a pretty decent place, you know. I only watched people die there often. And so, <laughs> yeah. Oh. And so, uh, you know, we like I said, we would just move from uh, place to place and never really had many friends uh, because I would move around so much and I was a kid. So, like, you know, phone numbers and things like that, you know, I never even really knew my friends' names. Um, so when I was 10, um, it was October 28th, 2001. And yeah, I do remember the day because, you know, the only friends I did have, I, you know, was leaving them again to go to a different state. You know, it wasn't even like, you know, down the road or anything like that. It wasn't like switching schools. Um, and what was um, that? We moved to this place called Medicine Bow, Wyoming. But wow. It is. Sounds remote. Um, there's roughly around 250 people in the town. Did did you guys move there because it was just a cheaper place to live and say maybe so we could have a shot here? Or my why stepdad they, why was, or he still kind of is, uh, but he was a butcher. So when we lived in California, when we moved to the desert, they would have ostriches and emus and like all this stuff that they would sell. Because I'm pretty sure the 90s, the mid 90s, they had that ostrich boom, right? They were selling all ostrich meat, you know, jerky and steaks and stuff like that. So my dad was has always been trying to get rich quick, essentially. So he would invest in things like ostriches and emus and, you know, things of that nature, rias, uh, swine, sheep. I almost got a pachyderm once uh, because of how many ostriches we had. We just wanted to, he wanted to trade them for a pachyderm. He didn't even know what a pachyderm was. Yeah. And so my mom's like, you're not getting a pachyderm. Okay. Like that's an elephant. You know what that is, right? I, I didn't yeah. know, know that. That was and so he was, he was looking to butcher that, wasn't he? All right. We didn't get it. <laughs> okay. I, I'm trying to get the, I, I'm getting the picture here though. Yeah. I, you know, so you moved to Wyoming and, and, you know, for, because he was a butcher, there was more, uh, yeah, for because of the hunting Wyoming? seasons and stuff like that, you know, cause, uh, okay. everyone here is usually an avid hunter. Um, in Laramie, it's not so much that way, but definitely in those more rural areas like Medicine Bow and Encampment and Saratoga, you know, those places that I lived. And so he'd be butchering from fair time, which is like August through february and sometimes even later depending on how late the seasons went there and what animals there were so 10 years old though that's when you moved to to wyoming and this is right around the time when your homelessness kind of just started what was the inciting incident moving away from my grandparents um they didn't really i mean they're not going to move another three states back to california um because i i was what you know we were in not a great place because i was watching people you know either get shot or run over or you know meth labs blowing up around us (laughs) like it was just bad (laughs) yeah but what started you from becoming homeless what was the you know when you left home in wyoming you left you stopped living with your your parents what started that so i have two younger siblings they are uh half siblings um we share the same mom And so when it was me and my older brother, you know, we're full siblings. So there was kind of, you know, that connection, that bond there. Um, But when we moved from California, he stayed there because he was 15 and he lived with my grandparents Mm. because he didn't want to leave his friends. I obviously didn't get that option being 10. You know, I had to live with my parents. So um, they, I felt like my stepdad just treated me differently That's than nice. the other two stepkids. Um, so I never really felt like I belonged in the family anyway. Um, so when I moved from California, I was the white minority there. Uh, and then when we moved to Medicine Bow, I'm also half Hispanic. So I became the Hispanic minority there. <laughs> so I was always being wow. treated different. Um, luckily, you know, kids at you know, age 10, they don't really give a crap about that kind of stuff. So, um, I, I did make friends pretty quickly. And one of the friends that I made 
in that elementary school actually lives caddy corner to me. He owns a house caddy corner to me now. So I always see him and we talk and stuff like that. Um, he's actually getting married. Uh, shout out Bain family nice. uh, this weekend. And I wasn't able to make it because they're doing a destination wedding. Mm -hmm.